So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. The game's been out for three weeks now. This is Call of Duty World War II Zombies. And we still don't have a fix yet for zombie supply drops. If you go on to learn anything today, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. Now the first 45 levels seem pretty legit. We were earning supply drops along the way. But if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. But lately, after you've prestiged, you realize you ain't getting nothing. Slim reports are coming in that the last supply drop you can earn in your prestige is granting you that supply drop. But, slim to none, we have 63 votes in an actual poll that I hosted over on Twitter. If you guys want to be taking parts in my polls, be sure to follow me over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. And you could take part in this. 44% of the vote said Prestige 1 and up, we were getting no rewards anymore. And the rest of the people were saying rank 45 and under, they were getting rewarded. And so that is the best results anyone can give you. I decided to host this poll so we can actually get some of the community talking on this. And now we have 63 people on top of my own research saying, hey, after we Prestige, we're not getting these zombie supply drops. You can see I just earned one in game right there. And that's because I reached rank 14. With the help of Dino93, we've been formulating all of the supply drop rates at which they drop per rank. And what we've come up with so far is that at rank 2, you'll be rewarded a common zombie supply drop. At rank 9, you'll be rewarded a rare supply drop. On occasions, you won't see it being rewarded on rank 9. It might be rank 10. But rank 14, we'll be seeing a common zombie supply drop. Rank 20, a rare zombie supply drop. Rank 26, a common. Rank 32, a rare. Rank 38, a common. And rank 44, a rare. Now that rank 44 is the one which you might be seeing happen and actually being rewarded. However, the rest of them are not. And that's a lot that we're missing out on, okay? There are eight in total every prestige. And I can't help but wonder in my head, hey, it's been three weeks since the game's been launched. We are now able to buy rare zombie supply drops with actual COD points. They had to make sure that was actually introduced before we could earn them in game. And before we can even have a currency to buy them that we're racking up. Is it going to be Raven tokens? Really? It resets every single prestige. Is it going to be armory credits? Because it seems like that's the only thing that we can rack up, which is more equivalent to salvage. So what kind of system are we actually looking towards? What is the future going to be like? We're now at a point where our headquarters is a solo experience. The rate at which we earn supply drops doesn't make sense. The first amount of levels is seven levels, then we have five levels, which moves into six levels from there on out. So that's the ranking system. We go from two to nine, nine to 14, 14 to 20, 20 to 26, 26 to 32, 32 to 38, 38 to 44. And those are the increments in which we're earning supply drops. So let's have a real hard look at the big picture. I think people are underestimating this. We aren't overestimating this. In fact, maybe a lot of you guys just aren't viewing this correctly. Because this is the reality that we live in. When we have a hard look at multiplayer, which I'm assuming that Sledgehammer Games is thinking that most of the multiplayer guys are the meat and potatoes of the cash cow. Now I have to bring up the cash cow because when COD points is introduced, and that's the only way we can address zombie supply drops, clearly the initiative is to make money. So we have this mode of multiplayer. You're gaining rewards. These are supply drops that you earn just by playing games. There's a random drop that happens at the end of the match. You could be the one to actually pick that up. There are other ways of earning supply drops. There are orders that you can complete daily and weekly orders that you can pick up in the headquarters. We cannot do this yet as zombies players. There are actually no orders available that are zombie mission specific. The other way is ranking up. Just like we're seeing here in zombies, we can rank up in multiplayer and get supply drops as well. So having that random generator at the end of every match during the after action report, somebody's getting a supply drop, that's still another option for you to get either a common or a rare version of the multiplayer supply drop. That's the meat and potatoes of what you want anyway because you get three slots that will randomly rotate and give you items versus zombie supply drops that only give you two. I'm mostly saying from the perspective of somebody who's been focusing primarily on zombies for the last three weeks, the trend that I've been seeing is that the focus is on multiplayer. 
They have many, many more options than we do in zombies to actually earn supply drops. We don't have as many to earn supply drops, okay? So when I earn a supply drop here in zombies, I'm going to get all excited if I'm a new player. But to their surprise, they're going to find out post after action report because even in the after action report, it still says you earned a zombie supply drop. Whether that be a rare version or a common version, you're all pumped because you think you're actually going to get it. But you've already prestiged because you've been putting time into this. That still makes you a new player. Just because you've prestiged once does not mean that you're a veteran of this game. People that are new still can be able to prestige just by putting enough time into this thinking that they're actually earning some good. Because the first 45 ranks, yes, you're actually getting those supply drops because this isn't affected until after you prestige where the real problem lies. After three weeks, I'm still confused why Sledgehammer hasn't addressed this. To be 100% honest with you, I wouldn't even be that upset about this if I didn't know Sledgehammer Games was the original people to introduce supply drops to begin with. Before this, Exo Zombies, we never had supply drops of this magnitude, and they weren't introduced to a level where Zombies players find, were to a point where we are just are getting completely screwed. We cannot earn Zombie supply drops. I'm telling you, we need a fix, and we need action now. I've left a hard mother effing link to Sledgehammer Games' Twitter. Go over there, it's in the description box below, and hit them up. Say, hey, I don't believe what you're doing is right. The Sledgehammer supply drop system in World War II Zombies is wrong. I believe we should be able to earn zombie supply drops. You don't have to say this verbatim, but get your point across and let them know how frustrated you are because this ain't right, man. All we can do is purchase them. We can't earn them. Are you kidding me? You're going to tell me in the after action report that I earned it and I look at it. Really, I just take an R2 look at it right here in the gameplay. This is what I did on purpose to show you guys. It just gives me the option to purchase supply drops. Now, this does the rare one. I did earn a common supply drop. I went to rank 14, so the zombie supply drop that I'm getting is common. You know, it doesn't say rare next to it. But the fact that I R2 up and I'm not able to look at it proves to you guys that there's a real glitch going on and that we're not being rewarded our zombie supply drops. Here's the evidence if you needed it, man. Take a hard mother effing look. At the end of the day, I just want our zombies mode to succeed. I don't see an issue with putting in a little extra legwork if you're the developer to make sure things are running smoothly. The most basic form of how people collect loot is broken right now. And I gotta speak up about it because nothing's gonna get done if unless videos are out here being made so that other people can show their support and contrition towards an actual fix coming to the limelight. We're still waiting on update 1.06. Sledgehammer, you said there was gonna be an update this week. It's already Saturday. How long do we gotta wait, man? Let's get that update pushed out so the people can actually earn zombie supply drops for playing your game. I just wanted to report on this for one last time just to let you guys know that it's still going on after three weeks from the launch of the game and I'm just hoping that in the updates we're gonna get something soon so we got more something positive to look at and that's what I want to bring to this channel so I bring you guys the real news every time so that's why you should subscribe so I'll see you in the next video hopefully it's a little bit better <laughs> violent out <laughs>